when you're testing engine vacuum, what you're trying to accomplish is get a overall opinion of the condition of the engine. So before measuring engine vacuum, make sure the PCV valve isn't stuck open, which will affect the readings. Make sure that the PCV valve is the correct flow rate for the application. Someone didn't stick an aftermarket wrong one in there. Find the vacuum port and T your vacuum gauge into it. Measure engine vacuum and don't forget to compare it to vehicle specific specifications. You can see we have some specifications up there for you. Now, we use a map signal as much as we use the gauge. We use a vacuum gauge to verify the map signal. So that's why we have both specs up there, map voltage and map inches. Excessively low engine vacuum. If that's what you're seeing, note. If the engine runs so badly it can't idle properly, don't attempt to make a vacuum measurement on this engine. You want to go to vacuum leak testing there. If the engine runs so badly, there's no sense in trying to measure engine vacuum. If engine vacuum is low, check to see if the EGR is leaking, and then go to vacuum leak testing or go to compression testing. You will now be returned to the test selection menu. Make a selection based on your test results. 